Good morning, everybody. It's Thursday, February 16th. <clears throat> it's my grandson's birthday. He's 20 today. <clears throat> Cooper. <clears throat> and I haven't had a coffee yet. I need to have a coffee <clears throat> to clear my throat. When Cooper was born, I'll tell you a little story. We were in Albuquerque, New Mexico. <clears throat> we were going up in a hot air balloon. <clears throat> so just after we started to go up in the balloon... I got a call that Cooper was being born, delivered. And so I kept somebody on the phone, I think, the whole time I was up there. And I was in tears because I wasn't there with my youngest daughter, Jenny, with for Cooper's birth, her first, actually. <clears throat> and um, <clears throat> But I, when we came down, um, Cooper was born. So I always tell Cooper, you were born, and my recollection of your birth was up in a hot air balloon up in the air. <clears throat> And uh, so it's easy to, to remember his birth because of that. He's a great kid. <clears throat> now a young man. <clears throat> so what I want to share with you this morning is not my grandson, mostly. <clears throat> but how, what I did this morning, <clears throat> I'm sorry my coughing, <clears throat> is I mixed my colors. I mixed my sunlight and my wheat. Sunlight's my brightening uh, uh, highlighter. Wheat is my main foundation, as you might know it, my main highlighter. So I combine the two. I take my 3D brush, and I just do that. And that's how I apply it, okay? And I just step, well, you know how it works. I just step all over my face, <clears throat> okay? And then what I did, I thought I'd try this this morning. We have a setting spray. Looks like this. Okay, and I decided I would spray my big brush, my bronzer <clears throat> cheek brush, I think it's called, and just spray it with the setting spray. I sprayed more than that, but I'm just demonstrating. <clears throat> and then I stippled that all over my face to set my makeup. It feels really cool, nice, actually. So I did that, and I also, if I found spots that I want a little bit more. <clears throat> I would take the same brush and just add a bit. The setting spray does not help hurt your makeup at all. Okay? And that's what I did. Now, some people say, does the makeup come on your off on your clothes? Well, my experience is I've worn masks, those light blue masks. It doesn't seem to come off very much on them. <clears throat> And then I took a cloth and I just swiped down the side because that's the part that's going to be hitting your clothes. And there wasn't anything on the cloth. So if it does come off in your clothes, it's obviously very little. <clears throat> so what I've done today, then I did my bronzer and then I did my lip and cheek. So I'm going to share with you what I'm wearing today. I have London on my eyelids. <clears throat> I'll show you the colors. They look different when you see them, though. This is London. Okay, this one right here. And then I used, <clears throat> oh, I used coal in the corners here. And I just used my little, you know, my little eyeshadow brush. This one here, right? Okay. And, and then you just, you know, blend it out with your brush, right? Pull it way up high because I got hooded eyelids. <clears throat> Have hooded eyelids. <laughs> and then I used... Uh, soulmate, this one here, it's very pretty, very pinky on the eyelid. Line my eyes with coal with my line brush, which if you're going to line your eyes and do your eyebrows, you need this wonderful little brush, and it's a very fine one. <clears throat> and I line my eyes with this contour called Ash. That's the closest color I can get to my very dark eyebrows. I used to use shadow, but it was a bit too dark, so this is working. My lip and cheek. I use this brush, my 3D brush, and I dip it into Frenchie. This is Frenchie. You've heard me talk a lot about it. I love it. So I dip it in. I, I mix colors a lot. It's like painting and mixing colors, right? Like experiment. There's so much fun. You can be so creative. Don't be afraid to have fun with this stuff. And then um, if you want a little pinkier, just add. This is Pinky Promise, I think, or Promising Pink. I can't remember. And this is uh, Vienna. Venice, 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 I think. 
one or the other. <laughs> so if you want a little redder, just put a couple of dots of this on and blend it in. Like you can't, and if you get too much on, you just blend it off, right? Pretty simple, but I just want to share with you about the setting spray and, and how you can do that. And um, it's a nice way to set your makeup. <clears throat> and I'm telling you, if I talk to you at five o'clock tonight, six o'clock tonight, my makeup will look like this. It really will. Anyway, in my lip and cheek, I've worn off. I did line it earlier, but I think I've been doing stuff and drinking water and and if I want to darken it, I can darken it. If I want to tone it down, just add taffy. Pretty, right? Have a good day, guys.